Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and welcome to Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. But don't worry, we're gonna figure out what those reasons are and help you improve at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. All right, this time our hero is Kchmime0nay, and he is a Gold Nova 4 player, that's here. His favorite fish is Boiled Mermaid, while they are still alive. Wait, what? And oh my, oh no. Oh, that was bad. That was really, did that guy have a bison? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Keep in mind, don't make any disparaging comments against these players for how much of the baddie they are. And uh, be nice, be nice, because these players are just trying to improve, just trying to get better at the game. Very brave to send the demo in. Be kind in the comments section. Stop being whiny little jealous babies of his rank. Um, even though he clearly cannot shoot and... Okay, so yeah, let's let's just go back. I don't even care what happens to the rest of us. Let's just go back and examine that because I think I know what's going on here. We're gonna slow this down a little bit once the action begins. This is what I like to call Call of Duty style. We got look down the scope as soon as you see a guy, right? And just kind of try to aim in the general direction of the guy. No idea of spray control. Obviously, none of those rounds, the, the crosshair was nowhere near the enemy. Let me hop in game and show you a little bit about the SG. I'm a terrorist, and I got myself an SG-553, and I want to shoot some people. All right, so the advantages of the SG over the AK-47 are going to be that it's more precise at a longer distance, meaning that... It's going to be easier to tap shoot people in the face at a longer distance. The negatives are going to be that it is um, a little bit uh, more difficult to control the spray pattern. It's a different spray pattern to learn. Um, it has the scope. I'll talk about the scope in a little bit. It's also, oh, it's only 300 more expensive. A lot of people don't choose to buy it because they want to save that extra money. But it's only 300 more. There are professional players like NBK who use this weapon. There's nothing wrong with purchasing the SG. Now, one thing I want to show you about the scope here is the effect that it has on the spray control. So watch this spray control. This is without the scope. So you see it goes up and to the right immediately and stops right there. Okay, this is it with, with the scope. So you see it doesn't go up as much. It proves to be a little bit easier to control. Um, also, when you're scoped in, you have a bigger target to deal with. A lot of players play on 4-3 stretched because it gives a bigger target on the screen for you to shoot, which does make shooting easier or play on lower resolutions. So yeah, just scoping in gives you an easier target. The negative to scoping in, obviously, is that it takes time. One of the things that I'll tell you is that if you're fighting an enemy, don't scope in if you can see them. Only scope in... If you're watching a corner like this and you think a guy's middle and you want to use the scope and let's say you're like back here Only scope in uh, Beforehand if you're actually fighting the guy don't scope in just shoot him Now one of the things we saw with the issue with his shooting over here Was he was aiming at body level that's crosshair placement crosshair placement 101 I go over this all the time guys you got to do this Aim at the head aim at head level where an enemy is gonna be always because guess what? One click is a lot easier than three or four clicks there. The other thing, we saw him trying to follow the target. It's really easy. Just keep it at head level and just tap at the head. Also, his spray control was non-existent. He aimed at the body and he just let it go up and to the right like that. You have to control that thing. You have to move down and stuff. It, look at the crosshair. If you're shooting properly, the crosshair is going to be like down here to the left below the guy. You just have to get a sense of each of the weapons. Don't try to use a weapon that you don't know. Go into a private server like this, put yourself up against the wall, a fancy looking wall like this here, and just learn to control that spray pattern so that when you're in battle, and let's say that's the head, you can do that. And one of those shots was a headshot. All right. Well, that's all for this baby here. Thanks to Cash My Money for sending in the demo. Thanks to everybody for watching. Let's get an owl vision.
I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.